Uh, welcome back everybody. This is Texas Long Haul 21 and uh, we're back on Region of Texas. Uh, the updated version. Yeah, this uh, this is a 7800. I think I seen uh, TCCG Rob show this tractor off. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. This is the one Rob showcased. Uh, and I finally figured out how to get the OEB to wait to work on my tractor. Thanks for everybody on Ian Robinson's stream that helped me figure this out. Uh, we're starting over from scratch. We've got a 7800 John Deere uh, 8400T, which is uh, planning planning uh, canola on the field across from this one. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, we're going to pick up some straw. I got a 6810. That's a uh, This is a beast of a tractor. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. It's that loud. I'll figure the... I'm still having issues figuring out my sound on this thing. And uh, I got the 6810 pulling two trailers unloading a combine. We're starting with the that New Holland 5. I think it's a 5.90. <laughs> this uh, this wagon is supposed to be pulled by a 240 horse tractor, but I'm going to do it with 100 190 horse because it's what I've got. <laughs> Well, I hear a lot of people up north are snowed in here down here in Texas. We're expecting snow tomorrow. Yesterday it was 75 degrees. Today I don't think it got out of the 30s. We have to enjoy. We down here in Texas have figured out Mother Nature is bipolar. <laughs> That's also a shout out to Bipolar Prophet, one of the guys I watch and was on Ian Robinson's stream. So. Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah. No inside truck. <laughs> Hell, that's the only thing it don't have. So we're going to pick up some straw. I'm going to show you a couple of the new features on this map. Uh, the updated map. Uh, it, it has two mixing stations. It has a pig and a beef thing on it. Uh, and I've already purchased uh, 30 beef. We have 81,000 left, but we need a few more implements, and I'm really, really choosy with those. Uh, the only tractor I have that has a front linkage is this one, so uh, I think that's how we'll go about getting grass when the time comes. I know this thing is loud, <laughs> but... Tractors are loud in real life. Especially old gas tractors. Shoot. You hear them things tick. They don't pump oil well. <laughs> the old farm I was raised on, I think uh, they had an old gas tractor we scraped the the uh, lots where the cows stood waiting to be milked. It, I think it was a 674 International. 
little old tractor with a had a little front end loader on it and a box blade it was a, the only gas tractor on the farm and that thing rumbled <laughs> Uh, I'd like to send a shout out to David Oldfield. He has sort of helped out with this. He made the weight, so uh, I'm glad he was able to give me a couple things to look at. And I finally figured out how to change it up to work for me. Yeah, which I like. It's a good heavy weight. Modeled real well. One of the few mods I have. I haven't really gone all that nuts with a lot of mods. I'm sort of picky of what I get. For some odd reason, I just like picking up straw. <laughs> Usually they'd bail it here in Texas, but this thing was cheaper than a baler, so no it wasn't. It was more expensive than a baler, <laughs> but it's I like the capacity on it. Should work well. Uh, yes, I do have course play. I don't know how to set up a bunch of fancy courses. Uh, I'm going to learn that in my own time. Uh, I've looked at a few other maps, but uh, when I found the second version of this one, uh, I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try since I lost my total save game on uh, the 1.0 version of Te region of Texas. Uh, just came in one day and it was gone. So I looked at a few other maps, picked up. But, uh, I don't know. For some reason, I just don't like the real small maps. Some people do. Uh, I, I prefer prefer something a little bigger. I don't know if I'll do much logging. It might be something we come along to uh, come into in a few more. I know I was doing it in the first four episodes, but right now I, I want to buy the actual equipment, not just rent it. I've got the rental pack, but just don't really want to play the trees much uh, but there is forestry in Texas East Texas we have a lot of forest over there and trees and they do uh, between chickens and trees I think that's all it's in East Texas sometimes seen a few cow farms out there but everywhere I went when I was a truck driver was always a chicken place or <laughs> a lot of chicken places <laughs> I've seen a lot of chicken plants all over the United States, uh, but the majority have been in Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, uh, Alabama, Mississippi. I think I was even to one in Georgia one time. <laughs> The only state I have not been to in the 48 continuous is Washington. I've drove just about every other state. Sort of looking forward to American Truck Simulator. Since I've become disabled, I sort of miss being on the go all the time. Maybe that'll quench that little die-hard truck driver in me.
I've just got the regular version of course play. I don't want to set it up for the combine and the tractor keep on going when they're when it's unloading. I'd like them I'd like to figure that out and keep the combine from stopping all the time. Yeah, this 7800 I've been using a little bit. I uh, did a little setup. And this thing is absolutely filthy already. I basically, when I started this map, I sold the three tractors that come with, uh, maxed out the bank loan. We'll have some wheat to sell here shortly. Yeah, we're almost full. Yeah, man, I didn't expect this tractor to be this loud. Yeah, uh, the cow farm sits right next to the main farm here. Well, the cow and sheep farms uh, are over here. The dairy cows. Uh, There we go, we're dumping. Uh, excuse me in a second while I get a drink. Yeah, I'm trying to see how much, huh? I guess there'll be another load before we fill that one up. Then we got the second one over there. The first one, ta this first one takes chaff and grass. Uh, don't know how we'll do that without making a bunch of money to get something to. Okay. I just added the uh, front and rear duels for this. And, uh, they don't get dirty, but... There we are, we're back. Uh,
Uh, I'm thinking about trying to find somebody to do me a a new intro. Hold on a second, guys. All right. Well, I'm back. Uh, had to answer a phone call. I have a disabled mother in the house, and she, if we don't hear her with our headphones on when we're recording. She calls the cell phone. <laughs> I, I drove truck for 19 years uh, between cotton harvest and wheat harvest. I st- so I started out, and then the last 11 years I spent in an over-the-road truck. Uh, well over the road uh, regional route thing I did for a while and I was raised on dairies from the time I was little until I graduated high school uh, Uh, I don't have the HUD hider. I like to have the stuff up because I forget what keys I'm supposed to push to get it to do something I want it to do. So uh, that's why I keep it up. Uh, I, I may have said this before, but I have a head injury, and I sometimes I have a hard time remembering things. Uh, we've made a goal. I have 20. I've made 25 subscribers. Uh, that's been a goal of mine. Uh, besides this, I've done some uh, Euro Truck Simulator videos. Uh, a little bit of ice racing on a channel update. Uh, we have a. I've done an 18 wheels of steel. Uh, maybe if I get 10 views or 10 likes, I think I'm going for 10 likes, but I doubt I get it. But if I can get about 10 to 15 views, I'll do another one. It that game takes me ba- takes me back. It's a little more arcade, but it's made by the same people who make Euro Truck Simulator 2, and the people that are making uh, American Truck Simulator. It's a little more video uh, arcade type game, and the fines in it are unrealistic. I, I never never had a $6,800 ticket for running a red light, but. <laughs> probably because I didn't run a lot of red light. I think I run one and the ticket was $145 in California. And I didn't actually run it. When I went under it, it was green. It turned red just as the trailer cleared. But there was no arguing with that California state trooper. They have no love for nobody. I can remember as a kid I spent a lot of time on tractor with my dad when I was little. And uh, I still collect uh, John Deere and Case International. Or my, If it ain't red or green, I just ain't got much use for it. I do have an, uh, a fondness for orange. Old Alice Chalmer, Chalmers. Uh, that, and I like the old Olivers. Uh, they're like old farm tractors. That's sort of what I miss about uh, 2015 right now. They don't have any old classic tractors. One of my favorites was a 1206 Farm All. And uh, then there was an 806 Interna- International Farm All that I really like. And then there was the uh, 86 Series Pack. 
which I played a lot with those too. And the 4960s and the 4855s. So oh, I, I, I hope in 2015 somebody does a 4020 or a 5020 for us. Uh, hoping they come out with the next patch or the next DLC soon. Uh, because uh, I guess when they do that, they're supposed to release the the scripts for the modding community, and it should really take off. Uh, looking forward to stuff from NI modding, modding and uh, Eurodizian. Really like the stuff they put out. I guess we'll get this one loaded and then we'll uh, go see if our beef cows need any more straw on there. I think I've already put some in there, but I uh, haven't purchased any pigs or dairy cows yet. Uh, this will be something we'll work towards. Uh, i got to work towards getting uh, something to make chaff with and uh, a mower. So I can uh, get grass for the, try to get the first uh, mix, uh, mix station ready to make mixed rations. I sure hope you can hear me over this. Uh, if not, if somebody can help me set up the audio for when I do this, I'd be more than welcome to leave a comment or... leave a comment or something to uh, get a hold of me. Uh, when I reach 50 fans, I'll start a Facebook page, but I've got 25, well, when I reach 50 subscribers, uh, I'll, I'll open a Facebook page. That way we can exchange ideas on what we like about Farm Sim and other, other games. Uh, I just sort of like to get everybody, uh, I like seeing other people how they do it. Uh, Geek Girl Gaming, I have finally took Bipolar Profit's uh, advice, went over and checked out Lauren. She she does a great job. I like seeing her take on it. Uh, like Grant and BP's co-ops and the co-op Hitman does with Toby Moby. And, oh, shoot. Boy, now I'd have to go I'd lose at Serenar and Iron Brew Attic, I think. I can't, I can't remember them all on that one. I'm sorry. And I do watch Caravera. I like the way he does it. Uh, still watch Stocko. What drew me, drew me into watching YouTube videos. Uh, I guess I dig some of the stuff that Dirt Tabbers does. Uh, I'll just leave it at that, you know. I watch Ian Robinson and get a kick out of his take, but <laughs> uh, oh, and Farmer Beavis was in on that co-op. Uh, uh, I get a kick out of those guys. I, I enjoy watching. I watch some other people too that don't do farming stem stuff. I, for some odd reason, I like Grand Theft Auto 5. I play it here at home. Can't record it, but I can play it. Oh shoot, we filled up. All right, there's our 8400T, he's planting canola, and I'll be darned, that thing looks like it's getting dirty too.
No, this first uh, first thing here is the pigs. Oh yeah, I remember. I have to get a water water trailer so I can water my beef cows here. Straw not accepted here. Have to do. Yeah, there's all of our little cows that we're gonna fatten up. Then they'll go. They'll go be a. Uh, they'll go be the special at Texas Roadhouse. Hmm. Hmm. Don't want to let us out. Let's see if we can go out backwards then. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe next time I'll go in the other door and come out this one. Well, let's go see what this thing has gotten itself into. The hell? I guess it and the combine didn't agree on who was supposed to go first. This is neat. This tractor sort of neat. You got the arm. And it's got the arm and all that, and the, the the headless dude that we're looking at right now. Oh, there's his head. Yeah, he changes gears. I imagine it's got to be tough to turn one of these track tractors. I've never never had the opportunity to work on one so looks like he's doing a good job oh my goodness Well, let's see what this Gibbon's going to do this time. I don't know. I've watched some drifting videos lately, but shoot. This guy seems to be pretty good drifting this tractor. Alright, let's take this guy. Take this guy and unload him and mm 
Let's see here. Let's creep up now. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take another load. My goodness. Alright, we'll take a minute here. Go in here to MISC. Gonna need that. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go to this one. I think we'll go with this Marshall. And this coon that I got off uh, the FS, uh, the Farming Simulator site, that's what it was. Hmm. Now we can't buy no more tractors. Well, there's no more American tractors like buy until we make some money. So, we'll go up here to Bailing Technology and take a look. Hmm. And then we'll go here. Okay. There we go. I don't know why I have that problem with it getting up there by the combine. Well, the wheels are getting dirty on it. Uh, maybe it's got the dirt script on it after all. Oh. 
Our worker looks good there in his green over green and yellow overalls. Uh, this 8400T is a 225 horse tractor. I mean, it, it's the big tractor. Uh, it wasn't working so well. I tried to use it with the, the forage wagon, but I think for planting and cultivating, it'll work real well for us. Okay. There goes the money. <laughs> Well, let's go water the cows. Alright, let's see here. There we go. And we can unhook it and leave it right there. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't good. We played soccer with it. Yep. Some days I'm not very good at backing up. I think we have the right hitch on this tractor for this, but I'm just moving it.
Okay, uh, thank us. Sorry, I got quiet there, guys. I sometimes I forget I got, I'm supposed to talk to this. <laughs> Sometimes I get to concentrating and I forget all about it. there so I think I'm gonna call it an episode for now guys uh, please like share and comment uh, and have a great night this is Texas long all saying we'll catch you on the flip side